this year. Um, so we wanted to highlight some of the businesses that we've partnered with. Uh, and we've got Brad here with us, who's with uh, uh, Paramount Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Also have Jason, our Director of Operations. And so we just wanted to go through a few questions with Brad to kind of help the folks that know us get to know him and his business. And as you'll find out, uh, this uh, organization, this community is really important to both Jason and I, uh, mostly because we have our kids here learning Jiu Jitsu. So, Brad, um, why don't you start off and just uh, tell us a little bit about how long Paramount's been around and uh, why did you start it? Paramount's been around since 2005. And um, just over time, it's continued to grow from a small adult program to kids and then adding in Muay Thai and boxing and everything. So. And would you say that, that Jiu Jitsu is a passion of yours? Oh yeah, for 22 years of okay. training. What, for somebody who has no clue what Jiu Jitsu is, how would you describe Jiu Jitsu? Uh, jiu Jitsu, specifically Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, um, is a martial art developed in Brazil from Judo, um, but it, it kind of, they kind of brought it back from the sport of Judo into a real self-defense system. And it's all about leverage and technique. So um, the goal is to take the person to the ground where you can control them, put an end to the fight with a submission hold, uh, or hold them there like you had mentioned earlier until someone comes along to, to break things up. Which I think is great for, for, for kids, right? Because a good kid doesn't want to hold someone down and, and punch them or, or even use a submission hold. Right. They don't want to do that, right? So, so teaching them that they can take a person down and just hold the person until the teacher comes or a parent comes is also really good for those kids to know. You know. What level of skill are you currently? Uh, black belt, third degree. Okay. Help us, help me and the folks listening to understand a little bit more about like how does the belt system work. So first, one thing that drew me to Jiu Jitsu yeah. when I, I started when I was around 17, um, and one thing that drew me to Jiu Jitsu that I liked was that um, children can't get black belts. A uh, black belt is, uh, to use a word that used, like a, an example of mastery or a representation of mastery, and um, that's something that a child can't really have. Right. So the uh, belt system for children is different than the belt system for adults. And at black belt, you get a degree um, for every three years you're actively training at black belt. Okay. Up to the third, and then it goes every five years. Um, I've been a black belt for 12 years, so another couple of years in all. Okay. Before. What does time afford you that maybe testing certain skills does not? And what is it about Jiu Jitsu that makes it like a little more different than that? Yeah, that's a great question because the actually the the degrees on the black belt are the only um, the only promotion mm -hmm. or rank in Jiu Jitsu that is not based on skill. Okay. Um, I'm not exactly sure why, but I have learned a lot. I mean, I think I've learned more since becoming a black belt than I did in the years up to black belt. Yeah. Um, part of that's through teaching. It's yeah. a lot to, to yeah. try to pass on knowledge and try to convey these concepts to students as young as four. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jiu Jitsu is completely, when you're on the mat with somebody, it's completely unscripted. You know, yeah. it's, it's much more, I think, more of an art to, to me that uh, rather than just going through forms and things like that because if you're constantly you have to know yourself really well you've got to know your opponent um, and you've got to understand like okay you know it's like chess you got to think like five moves ahead like if I do this and he does this I do this if he does this I do that so I mean does that sound about accurate why it might be that different yeah and I, th I think with jiu-jitsu you know one of the big differences between jiu-jitsu and traditional martial arts and, and really any striking uh, martial art or form of combat is you can practice it the same way you would use it in self-defense or competition or whatever you can practice it at that same speed in training mm -hmm. because it's a grappling art you're not going to be you can't you, you can't practice you can't have your children your eight-year-old kids ten-year-old kids whatever practicing uh, kickboxing yeah. <laughs> full right. speed taekwondo full speed the way that they would have to use it in right. a real setting but jiu -jitsu, with jiu-jitsu you can. Yeah. I think that's a big advantage. Well, talking about the kids, and you said you started with adults and then eventually you started a kids program. Can you talk a little bit about how that kind of has evolved over time? Yeah, so the curriculum that we use for the children is much simpler version of the curriculum that we use for the adults. When I first started training, I trained under the Gracie Academy 
The Gracie Academy has a long, well-documented um, history of teaching and um, their children's program. We've adopted a lot of those same techniques and teaching strategies or methodologies, um, but for the most part, it's a simplified version of the adult BJJ Basics program, which is rooted in the self-defense. My kids and I have been here, or my kids have been here for five years. What would you attribute to the growth of that program over time? Just I've been fortunate to to have a good group of dedicated adult students who have been willing to come on board as instructors. And then that has kind of set the standard for the others as they come up. Being in communication with all of the instructors and working hard on, on developing good relationships with the students and the, and the families, I think it's kind of a little bit of all that. I'm very conscious of, of the culture here at the school, the mindset of the students. Being very team oriented, that's, a, that's, that's been a conscious effort and I think that's a big factor. Talk to the parents that are out there, you know, what, why should somebody enroll their child uh, in jiu-jitsu? Well, I think jiu-jitsu has um, everything that other sports have uh, in terms of the building friendships, the, you know, the physical benefits with fitness and, and so forth, the camaraderie and the teamwork and all that stuff, but it, but it also directly uh, addresses the, the, the social challenges of of adolescents, you know, yeah. specifically bullying, yeah. and um, not just physically how to handle it, um, but directly working on on the confidence right. of the of the children to be able to stand up for themselves and, and not be intimidated. I'll I'll speak to that to, as well. You know, uh, I want my kids in this sport and this community because of that confidence to, to a great degree, yet also, you know, when you when you do belt promotions, there, you know, my 13-year-old son, he had to grapple for 45 minutes straight, some some of that with adults that really pushed him. There was so much adrenaline and he worked so hard, like he has never worked that hard in his life. Life is hard. You're gonna, you're gonna, you know, get hurt, whether it's physically, emotionally, or whatever it is, and you're gonna have to fight through that difficulty to win in life. And, you know, to me, that's invaluable. You know, when we see what's going on with Facebook and social media and the kids and bullying and stuff, I think it's a real issue. If you see a friend that is getting bullied and you think it's about to go physical, like somebody's physically going to get hurt, and if you have to use jujitsu to submit somebody or hold somebody until a teacher comes from getting, you know, making somebody or harming somebody else, you did the right thing in helping somebody. Yeah, I, you know, I was just going to circle back to the, just the, the culture, and I mean, you're very humble. You passed it right off to your your staff, you know, the people that are working for him, but it's from the top down is where right. this culture has been created, and and I and I believe that you know, and so do my so do my kids, and you know, I think the important thing to understand is that it's not just the it's not just the adults. It's you know, when you're you see these kids in these classes, the amazing thing is you start to see them really support each other in a very genuine and, and sincere way, and you don't see that a lot in in age groups like this. Yeah. And so for for my kids, for me. It's the reason why they'll be here as long as they want to be here, and you know because it just makes perfect sense. Yeah, yeah. and not to mention adults. You know, it's, yeah. you know, both Jason and I do CrossFit avidly, and I'll tell you when I, I was like, I you know went into one of my first couple of classes here, and I'm like, oh, I'll do all right. And after like 60 seconds, I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't breathe. This is crazy. It's just a different level of fitness. It's a different type of fitness than what you might do at the gym. And so for adults, you know, it's 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 a great uh, great way to get in shape, but also to understand how to you know defend yourself as well. Do you have to be in shape to start? No, not at all. And actually, we were talking the other day, right, about efficiency because you you mentioned how it's a different type of fitness, and it is. You're using all kinds of muscles that you really don't use anywhere else. I mean, you're on the ground rolling around yeah. using muscles that you don't really use otherwise as an adult, right? Um, but it's about efficiency and it's about staying calm and about staying patient. And that's part of the, going back to the confidence thing, you know, uh, and, and also humility, which you mentioned. Those two are big with jujitsu because you learn how to deal with very uncomfortable, unsettling situations. Like for example, being held down while you're out of breath or right? someone's body weight on you. It can be terrifying if you haven't been there before, but if you've been there before, if yeah. you've been there before time and time again, right. it's not so scary. So being in a being in a real altercation, a fight, yeah. isn't so scary. It kind of would feel not normal but right. less scary, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. And um and then and then when you start to be in those positions 
learn how to stay calm and escape, that's where the confidence comes in. So the humility isn't getting put there yeah. against people who maybe thought you could, you know, whoop. And now uh, being able to get out boosts the confidence. Yeah. So it's like a really nice balance. Yeah, probably one of the last questions I'll ask. So we got a good number of uh, awards behind us. Uh, what I've noticed is that a lot of the instructors and a lot of the students from Paramount seem to do pretty well in most of the, the competitions. I mean, what is it about you know the Paramount system that sets some of the students apart and helps them you know really achieve at a higher level? Uh, well, I was always drawn to the competition aspect in jiu-jitsu, and I actually got into jiu-jitsu or learned about jiu-jitsu from the the early UFCs. Yeah, right. um, So I started jiu-jitsu myself because I wanted to learn how to fight or defend myself and, and then these guys that were fighting in the UFC or fighting in the various uh, MMA events at the time were also competing in jiu-jitsu tournaments so then I kind of you know started paying attention to the jiu-jitsu tournaments and started competing myself so I've been to Brazil a bunch of times and competed down there and all around the US competing at all the major tournaments the world's uh, Pan American Championships, the Brazilian Nationals I did in, in Rio, and and so I know, you know, what that highest level is, you know, and so um, while I didn't reach the pinnacle of the sport, I competed at the highest level, and so I can kind of pass that knowledge down to the students who are interested in competition and kind of help them understand what they need to do to get to that level. What's the first step that somebody can take in trying to get a hold of you, figuring out how to come here, how to join? What's the first step that you should take? They should call us. <laughs> <laughs> yep. They should call us. 610-269-1127. Um, Paramount Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu or ParamountBJJ.com. Um, we do free orientations. We have a free week uh, trial. Come in, meet the instructors, meet the staff, meet the students. Can they come in and just observe a class if they, they oh, yeah. join right away, that kind of thing? Absolutely. They can come in and observe a class. I, I usually recommend orientations just so we can introduce ourselves and we know who you are because we might have a group of spectators and we might pass you by thinking that you're one of the parents, for example, or something like that. We try our best to introduce ourselves to everybody, mm -hmm. but um, they, they're welcome. People, we, the doors are open. So you they can come call on and set up an orientation and just come in and get a feel for the place. Yeah, absolutely. Just give a tour of the facility and, and, and talk about the programs a little bit. And, and then if you want, you can just sit down and watch it, for sure. Well, Brad, thanks so much for uh, allowing us to talk with you. Uh, yeah, thank you. Paramount Brazil, uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is absolutely one of the businesses that we do support. Uh, obviously, we spend a lot of time there, Jason and I do, with our kids here. Uh, my kids are here four nights a week, uh, and sometimes on Saturdays, and it's uh, well worth it. So uh, please give Brad his, uh, and Paramount a, a call if you're thinking about that, whether it's for yourself or your kids, and we'd love to hear you. Uh, if you join, let us know, all right? So with that said, Brad, thanks again. Appreciate Thank it. All right, see you guys. Thank you.